search for a missing man in Fern Ridge Reservoir has now ended for the night. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Renee McCullough. Matt is on assignment. KEZI 9 News reporter Grace Smith joins us live tonight from Orchard Point, where 38-year-old Kevin Carlisle went underwater yesterday trying to rescue a child. Grace. Renee, search and rescue boats have come back in for the night, and I just spoke with an officer who said they're done for tonight, but will pick up the third day of looking for Carlisle in the morning. Carlisle was last seen about 150 yards from this shore. Deputies say that Carlisle was out boating with his wife and two children when one of them ended up in the water. A friend of the family has posted on Facebook that the child took off her life jacket and jumped into the water to prove she could swim, but we cannot confirm that at this time. But weather conditions were indeed brutal, making it tough to get back into the boat. Carlisle, Carlisle's wife and children did make it to the shore. A search began shortly after that. You had a high up here and a low down here and it kind of spun around and it just made it really windy. I mean, it was dangerous out there. The Marine guy was out here and said about how there was white caps on the other side. KEZI has been out here uh, this morning when the search and rescue boats first got into the water and they have been searching for Carlisle um, around this dam right here all day and it is said to be the deepest part of the lake about 17 feet reporting live in Eugene Grace Smith KEZI 9 News.